Hello Mavericks. I hope you all are healthy and safe. Just observe the board for a moment. Confused? Some of you are. Uh, some of you are, right? Well, you won't be by the end of this video, and the things would be clear enough. There, uh, we will talk about the different areas, specifically one. But let's see. There are four major areas of English. Well, you can say in a broad sense for every language, these four areas. If you master these four areas of any language, you have a good hold over that language, no doubt. Specifically about English, yes. Listening, reading, writing, speaking. Specifically today we talk about writing section. So if I ask you to define what is writing, well in a random way, this could be an easy answer. Combining your thought in a way you like. I combine it in a way I like. You combine it in a way you like. He might combine it in a way he likes it. Well, everyone has the right. So, well, that's, that's a simple task. But that is not a simple task. That is a not. That's what he says. That it's a knot, but many people oppose. I don't. How it's a knot? We'll talk about all these things. But on the other hand, on the other side of the board, you might see something written like tea making. Well, tea is the commonest beverage found in every household. And many of you like it as well. I like coffee better than tea. Many of you support me, I know. Okay, so tea making. Many of you are aware of this stuff. Let me introduce to the two characters that we have today. Ricky, the first one. Full of style, swag, attitude. Say hello to you as well. Do, answer. And the other one, you can see one popping. Trying to observe everything, what is going on. Bolu. So this man and this man means like, sorry, 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 I'm sorry, I apologize, pardon me. These two boys are similar like we are. We never like doing home chores at all. Never like to stay there. Now we are logged in. But we'll make it creative, better. So. These two got the task of making tea. Ricky went in. He was very reluctant. But mom's order. Never, never deny. So he went in. He switched on the gas. And then he looked for the container. Somehow he could find it in the corner of the kitchen. Then he put it in under the water purifier. And put in water. And then put it on the stove. Then he looked for tea leaves, which he found there easily. He put it in. Then he looked for sugar he couldn't find. He had to shout. Mama! She came in, gave sugar. Then, uh, okay, fine. Milk and everything is in put in. At the very end, he recalls like if cardamom is added, it becomes better. He wants it. He shouts again. Mama! She comes in. Gives the um, cardamom. And then he puts it in. Ultimately, tea is ready. Next day, Bolu gets it. He also doesn't want to do it. But then he went in. But he likes to do everything in a different way. Because he likes to observe and organize. He's seen his mom making tea. So he goes there and he knows what all stuff is required. So he starts collecting the ingredients. Mind this word, I have mentioned it here. Ingredients, ingredients. He combines all of them, as mentioned. Tea leaves, milk, sugar, and all sort of everything he wanted. Then he went near the stove and did everything. At the end of 20 minutes, he was ready with the tea. We all know whose tea would be delicious. 
Well, I didn't have any the. All right. Now let us shift back. You might be confused what is happening. Once writing, once T, once writing. I'm trying to compare. See, if I give you a piece, if I give you a topic to write, Ricky takes a pen and paper, he's ready with it. He gets the topic. We start thinking. We get the, to the, the point in the head. We start writing. We keep on getting. We start keep on writing. We keep on getting. We keep on writing. The moment we stop getting, we stop writing and that's our piece. Done. But, Bholu does it in a bit different way. As I said, he uh, creates, he collects the ingredients first. Like he does. So he gets the topic. He sits there with a pencil in his hand. He collects the ingredients. Are the thoughts which your mind is giving you? Well, these are actually the ingredients. They are the raw materials. They are not prepared. You are just straight away serving it to the person. No. It has to be accustomed first. Means like customized. You have to customize it according to the uh, need. So, the thoughts are ingredients. You need to collect it first. And again, your mind is not computed. It will not give you things in a sequence. Right? So, it gives you things one by one. You jot them down. You collect thoughts. You write them down. Sequence them. See again. Point it out very closely. This sequencing them is a very important aspect. How? I'll say. Think of Bholu. When Bholu went to make tea and he organized everything and he collected every ingredients and he made tea. He put on the container Everything he mixed in, stayed there for 15 minutes at the end of which he recalled. I did not switch on the gas. Now you say, will the tea be ready? No, not at all. That first step should have been taken in the first. You cannot take it for last. That's how when you collect the ingredients here, you see them very carefully, very carefully that which step of which particular point would come first. May, it might be that the last point which your brain come up would come in the very first. So there you have to sequence it. That's a very important aspect. So please be very, very, very careful with that sequencing part. And then it's done. But then by the very end, as uh, this boy Ricky recognized that cardamoms would really make the tea delicious, some people remember by the end of their writing that they would also garnish their recipe by cardamoms and tulsi leaves. How will you do that? How will you make your writing piece more important, more beautiful, more describing? See again, the word, the answer is there in the word, describing. You just describe something. Try to describe something. And for describing, what do you need to use? The jewels. The jewels in English language, what they are? They are the idioms. They are the phrases. They are those quotations that you can use. They are those uh, poetical, the rhetorical devices. The, the, what do we call in simple terms? The poetic devices. Figure of speech. That's what it is. Similes, metaphors, alliterations. Personification, hyperbole, jada mat bol. Anyways, when you use all these things in your writing, it, it looks beautiful, definitely. So use jewels to make your writing beautiful. Anyhow, there are lots of things to talk about. First thing is, you need to collect your thoughts, see them, improvise on them, sequence them, start writing, end writing. And do revise it at the very end. That's a very important thing. Anyhow, that's all I have to say today. We will talk about many more things about writing. We have just started and there is a lot more to go. Do like, share and uh, subscribe to the channel if you like my videos. I will definitely come up with some more of them. Thank you.